Wirecast 7 provides several ways to add text to your video. And in this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a scrolling text ticker that displays messages at the bottom of your screen. Before we begin, just a quick word about Wirecast's layering system. You'll notice Wirecast 7's interface offers five distinct layers you can add media to. From top to bottom, these go foreground to background. As a general guideline, we recommend placing titles and other graphic overlays on the upper two layers, primary video sources on layer 3, chroma keyed elements on layer 4, and audio on layer 5. Since we want our ticker to appear on top of all other video elements, we'll add it to the top layer. Click the plus sign on the top layer and select text from the list. Inside the text dialog box that opens up, we can enter a source name that makes sense, like ticker. Then you've got width and height options you can toggle on or off. If toggled on, these will constrain the text into whatever dimensions you set. We'll leave these off for now, which will allow the text to continue running on for the length of your entered string of text. For your sources, you will have a few options. Text, which will allow you to type in anything you'd like into the text box. File, which will allow you to choose a text file to load text in from. But note, it must be a TXT file. Other word processing files will not display correctly. And RSS, which allows you to add a really simple syndication feed, which is an XML-based format for sharing and distributing web content, such as news headlines. Since I personally find the RSS feed option really cool, let's work with that. You can find all kinds of RSS feeds out there if you look up RSS feeds list and any additional search terms on Google. Here I'll go and grab the top stories RSS feed from CNN. I copy the link from CNN's website and paste it into the URL field. You'll see some text now appears in the preview window, but it's in a big block. To get it scrolling, toggle on the scroll option and leave it set to nonstop. Then change the direction drop down to right to left. You can additionally modify the speed, background, text color, and font. Click OK when everything is ready to go. You can move your ticker to the bottom of the screen by clicking within its bounding box in the preview window and dragging it down to the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to modify any of your settings, you can double click on the text thumbnail in layer one to pop out the shot editor panel and click the text properties icon. 